This is 2018, first solar job of the year. Getting set up here, got all the guys, we've got graders, we've got a power company coming to, we're gonna turn the power off, disconnect it from this barn. So we're doing a little extra electrical work on this job than just solar. So let's find folks come out to turn, our, turn the power off. We tried to do it last week, but it was just too cold. And uh, so we're gonna do a meter upgrade and I'll show you all that. So anyway, got the whole crew here. We're going to bore under this driveway because the guy does not want to saw through the driveway. So we're off to a, a good start. It's 30 degrees. It's a heat wave compared to what it's been, folks. Mr. Johnny Valentine just showed up. All right, so we're going to change out this customer's existing meter base and put a meter base with distribution in a 200 amp main and it'll give us where we can uh, hook our solar into, um, surge arresters, and subfeed his barn. So we'll do that. So we'll put a disconnect out here, put this new meter, and hopefully we don't need a wire stretcher to make the connections. And then we're gonna bore underneath this driveway and put solar out to the left and run, I'm gonna basically run about 400 feet of conduit to get going here. Good morning, you made it, how was the roads? get any slickness. So. We had some freezing fog this morning. You didn't hit freezing fog? I was warned of it. Well, it's good morning. Fun. This is our first job of 2018. Looking forward to many more with Mr. Valentine. All right, let's get to work. All right, so we're getting ready to pull conduits back underneath this driveway. And that gentleman's gonna pull us, pull us back. And then when we get to the end here, we're trying to get under these, just a tight spot. Get these conduits to come up wow, here. Wow, redo it. Man, that's crazy. All right, he's putting some torque on it. Kind of push him. Do you need help pushing? Push him up a little bit. No, you just hold them up. Once that's they get, them on there. all right. No, once they get about five, six foot into the ground, then they're tough. And then you yank on them. All right, we're pulling our two conduits back underneath this driveway. We didn't want to saw it. It'll be nice and neat. Okay, it's lunchtime and we're starting to drill our holes for our solar mount. I like to take a 12 inch bit and pilot hole in. Even though the two footer will go, it's just so much nicer than to pilot them. It doesn't take much time to flip, change out the, uh, the auger. So, so we have our solar DC run going to the house. You can see in there, and Johnny is, so. The disconnect on the left will be the DC run, and then, uh... That's probably pretty good. Where's his elevation? I don't know, but we got, uh... And then we're going to run the uh, sub-feed to the shop here and retire his service with a 100 amp sub-feed. Well, we're working a little later than we had hoped because we just perfectly hit a water line. <laughs> right in the middle of our hole. So we had to re-plumb in the hole and we got it fixed, but that slowed us down a little bit. And uh, so we're, we're still setting up. And lights are on on the excavator. But we're good, day one post. We got concrete coming in the morning. We'll set these on these small little three, four post jobs we, we do concrete. Come back with my tractor and do the finished grade. Brian does our rough in. So we re retired the power, took the meter out today. So he'll have one power bill. So we, uh, it's one of the other things we do. It helps folks to have one bill. We just kind of help them with some electrical stuff while we're on the job. And uh, then we'll sub feed this barn, nice barn from the house with a 100 amp breaker. Uh, we got to pour underneath the driveway so we didn't upset the customer by sawing through his concrete. 
and then uh, in here you can't really see because it's getting too dark and I'll show you so day one we've kind of got the whole job roughed in conduits in we'll figure out what our wire lengths are and then uh, we'll have our DC disconnect so I don't usually film in the dark but hopefully there's enough light you can kind of see here what we're doing so we've got, it's got 200 amp main disconnect we've got 100 amp feed for the, the barn 40 amp for the inverter 20 amp for surge suppression which you see right here and we'll clean this up tomorrow and then the inverters in here and you can't see and the SPS secure power source will be right next to it and it'll be very easy to operate no matter what the weather is okay pretty good for day one Shut the power down, did our work, got it turned back on, got it past inspection. And now we're on to permit number two, the solar part of the job. So I'll see you tomorrow. Well, we do a little bit more than solar these days. We're doing electrical. Well, Johnny wanted to, he just wants to ride and drive equipment now and do concrete work. Is that right, Johnny? I just hate myself. <laughs> you hear that, folks? He just hates himself. So we just thought we'd do a little concrete work. This was left over from our holes from our ground mount and the customer had a perfect spot to patch. So not only do we do concrete work, we also plant roses and light landscaping. That's right, folks. Here at Nain Solar, we'll do things like this. <laughs> <laughs> you got any handyman work? Concrete work. Lay <laughs> some gutters Honey clean. Do. Honey do. <laughs> turn, we'll turn your wool. So we get a little loopy at the end of the second day. Take your trash to the dump. <laughs> so we're good. Conduits are in. The rain's coming. But we've got our trenches backfilled. Our wire to pull tomorrow. We can do that in the rain. And uh, got the solar array built. Went ahead and put the calcium and the heat, hot water to the concrete mix so we could work on this today and get this thing built. So we've done this a couple times, that's been very helpful. All right, so we've got 24, 295 watt Mission Solar Panels. First time we've used Mission Solar Panels. They look good, look nice. We didn't have any problems with them and tomorrow we'll put our DC disconnect and we'll have two strings of 12. Um, 360 volt strings run into the SMA inverter and we will uh, think we can do the entire job in three days that was my goal but I'm kind of really anal when it comes to project management and it's just from the permits down it's kind of fun for me in a weird sick way uh, <laughs> So anyway, we'll show you the wiring up uh, and the function of the SPS, the secure power source, and we'll put in the land the wires for the subfeed for the barn tomorrow. So a little electrical work, a little concrete work, a little yard work. That's the thing about these ground mounts, it does tear the place up. And the, the directional boring guys went down like six feet to stick our conduits under this driveway. So. A lot of filling and compressing and I hate coming back the next year or so and seeing where the ditch is. So very important to keep packing it in a little bit at a time. Because if we see that divot on Google Earth, as you can see people's sewer lines, water lines, sometimes even on Google Earth, that drives me nuts. Anyway, sorry to share all my personal problems. This is really a cool system, and just uh, if you've got any questions about it, let me know. We'd be happy to get you on. This one's in upstate South Carolina, but next week we'll be in Commerce, Georgia, and then we're going to head to Lumberton, North Carolina, and then up to North, another one in somewhere in North Carolina. All right, I guess that's about it. All right. We are two and a half days complete to finish. We just passed inspection on this uh, roughly 8KW uh, grid tie system with an SMA inverter. Started using, I'm gonna, oh, it's just been raining. So we use these IMO switches now, DC switches, pretty cool. 
Um, you'll see this is the same kind of hardware that's in the SMA inverter, but you can buy the switch, the DC disconnect separately. Everything bonded and that's our, our pull box and just got, man, it's just, we've been playing in the cold rain today. Over there we have our retired meter, just put a blank in it, so he's back on with a 100 amp sub feed, he'll be fine there. And I'll take you over to the inverter, so I sloth, slog through the mud. So we got done before lunchtime. I told Johnny we could do these jobs in three days if we had everything together. Even if we worked in the rain, we'd be good. Okay. There's our extra. Don't laugh at our driveway work, but that's what we did yesterday with our excess concrete. That's what the homeowner wanted, so we aim to please. An old, another shout out to Copperhead Electric. He always, Larry's awesome. Love working with him. He does a great job. If you're in the upstate of South Carolina, if you can get him off of a fire truck, you might be able to get him to wire something, but he's full-time fireman now and volunteer fireman. So I think he's tired of electricity and just wants to fight fires, but thankfully he still helps us. His wife is the greatest person ever lived. <laughs> That's true. Okay, so we're up and running. Working down. We are bringing down the power, folks. She's coming in live. Camera focusing. 380 Camera. volts. All right. Yes, I am hitting it. We're popping transformers. Back to the power company. Sky's blue from there the There we go. There's strings coming in. 375 volt, 380 volt. They were 444 volt open circuit. But now they're making some power. Have you guys tested the SPS yet? Not until it tells me to. We're ready. We gotta find something to plug in here. Who wants to? Where's that tester in there? Where's the tester? The tester? Oh, we, need an we want something with some amperage. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna test. This is the coolest thing, folks. This is where I get PV direct drive Wait, power. Alright, can you see that? SPS mode active. Secure power supply awesome. is active. Yeah, I'm looking for it. And it's looking, there goes the relay. We should have power at the receptacle here shortly. It's looking for a load. There it is. There it is. Lights right, on. Let me see if I can fry my mail. 124.3 volts. And that, so we're now 124 volts. How much power? We don't, it's raining. Well, it's pretty misty. Let's see what we can run. So this allows folks to keep the refrigerators going. Go ahead, Johnny. I'll buy you a new one. I got the same charger in the truck if I fry it. Got an extra one. A drill or something? All right, here's the. Yeah, just get a power drill, man. That ain't, that's not satisfying. There we go. That's on, dude. It's that's not cool. satisfying. That's cool, cool man. Either. That is cool, though. All right, now we're going to get in a fight. All right. Anyway, just kidding. This is so awesome. I hope you dude, folks understand what I'm saying. A vacuum is going to pull more than 300 watts. I got the shop back. How many watts is that drum? A vacuum? It's about 300 watts.